The human eye is an organ which reacts to light for several purposes. Let us look at the main components of the eye that allow a human to see. The sclera, also known as the white of the eye, is the opaque, fibrous, protective, outer layer of the eye containing collagen and elastic fibers. The cornea is the transparent front part of the eye that accounts for approximately two-thirds of the eye's total refractive power. While the cornea contributes most of the eye's focusing power, its focus is fixed. Aqueous humor is the fluid that fills the anterior chamber, which is the fluid-filled space inside the eye between the iris and the cornea's innermost surface. The aqueous humor nourishes the cornea and the crystalline lens. It also contributes to their intraocular pressure. The iris is a thin, circular structure in the eye, a responsible for controlling the diameter and size of the pupil and thus the amount of light reaching the retina. The ciliary body is the circumferential tissue inside the eye. Its epithelium produces the aqueous humor. The ciliary muscles are responsible for shaping the lens to focus light on the retina. The crystalline lens is a transparent, biconvex structure in the eye that, along with the cornea, helps to refract light to be focused on the retina. The lens contributes to one-third of the eye's total refractive power. Yellowing of the lens leads to cataract. Vitreous is a gel-like body that makes up 80% of the eye. The vitreous holds the eyeball's shape and it provides nutrients for the retina. The choroid is the vascular layer of the eye, P containing connective tissue and blood vessels, lies between the retina and the sclera. The retina is a light-sensitive layer of tissue, lining the inner surface of the eye. The fava is located in the center of the macular region of the retina. The fava is responsible for sharp central vision, also called foveal vision, which is necessary in humans for reading driving, and any activity where visual detail is of primary importance. Optic disc, also known as physiological blind spot where no rods and cones are present. No vision is perceived if the image falls on this area. The optic nerve transmits visual information from the retina to the brain. These are the basic structures that allow the eye to function properly.